Welcome to Let's Discuss ECW Gate 64. I am Dorf Jintu with uh, these other people. Ron Moore, Ron, Ron Moore and Chun Li. Chun Ri 309. <laughs> okay, okay, stop with the Chun Ri jokes. It's been enough through this whole LP. Be serious this time for the last part. Okay! We fucking got 3 0 fucking 9! There, I'm serious. It's, no, it's, no, it's, <laughs> no, it's just we got there, no, not we fucking guys fucking 309. You said we guys butt hurt because we got we guys butt hurt because he don't have a copy of Shellgate sixty four in the virtual console. Uh, who cares? I want to. What do you mean? No, you're saying that wrong. All right. You meant to just have an actual copy of the game, like cartridge, which I do want. Don't I'm, hate a, co- me. a copy of the software on virtual console. Okay, the reason I did this game because Ron Moore didn't think I would do it, and I know this game would be torturous, but I was. Else. Yeah, I did it for the lols. I did it for Madden. I put my team behind me, and I did it for Madden. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I, I'll give you props for having the courage to do an LP of this game. Uh, Dead Fan told me I'm pretty brave to do an LP of Chrono Trigger, but that's nothing. To do an LP of Shellgate 64 and not only do an LP, but finish it, ECW. You you gained 100 experience ECW points in, in my book. Hey, I leveled up. Ding. Oh, you, you did more than level up. You you moved up. You left, you moved up in the world. I mean, you you win. Even though a lot of people watching failed because they had to watch it, but I mean, still it is win. That means I'm higher than Skip Rogers now, world video game yes. champion. I yes, am now. Even, I am now game. Darf Jintu, world or universal video game champion. Universal <laughs> video. <laughs> All right, but anyways, yep. this game this game was awesome. So, <laughs> <laughs> hold, on, hold on, I ain't finished. I am not. <laughs> oh no, you're finished now already. <laughs> Did I say I'm finished? No, this game is awesome and making you go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sleep inducing gameplay is according to what Ron Moore said, but it doesn't do more than sleep. It does something more. It makes you want to go on top of the Sears Tower and do something called jumping off the building. (laughs) (laughs) That would be something more, uh, uh, you know, wordy than just that. Not so blatant. (laughs) That's that's what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give the game, and y'all just lost. (laughs) Yeah, we did lose. A, uh, I'm gonna give it a 4.7 out of 10. Lulz. Um, um, that's too nice. Ron, if J-Man was here, he'd be like, you're too nice. Ron, or your turn. Uh, man, I, like I said, I first found out about this game, like, in a magazine or online back in 1999, saying, whoa, they're making a Shellgate for the 64? Are you kidding me? And... I was like, man, ECW, and uh, I was yeah, I even chanted that back then too. <laughs> no, I was kidding, but, uh, yeah, I was watching it back then. But anyway, um, yeah, I was like, wow, the Shellgate for the NES was awesome. I cannot wait to actually play Shellgate sixty four, where you can actually move around, you know, in three D and stuff this time, and that's that's awesome. And so I've seen some pictures of it. You know, it looked pretty decent. You know, I, I didn't couldn't really judge it yet, but I had high hopes for it, and. Uh, I think it's produced by the same company as the uh, NES version, if I'm not mistaken. I said for NES, it was produced by Kimco slash Seika or something. Not Sega. Seika. Yeah. And um, so and I put in reserve at, uh, I forgot, I think it was Special Effects a long time ago. And then uh, me and Venom went to go pick it up. And I, and I got it. We took it home. We played it. And then before we knew it, we was just getting tired because we were bored. And we were starting to kind of like yawning and falling asleep. Like, okay – Walk around this part of the dungeon, blah, blah, blah. And after, after a week, I was like, okay, I don't know if y'all seen the re- Eric Mann Supers review of Where's Waldo on YouTube, but it showed him playing Where's Waldo as a kid and then uh, smiling real big and then slowly frowning. <laughs> That's how I was the whole week. I was like, all right, yeah, yeah. And then like, maybe then like a few days later, all right, um, okay, yeah, all right, all right. And then by the end of the week, it's like, fail. I like, oh, this man, this sucks. And I took it back to get like exchange for for store credit or something. I forgot what I did. And I took it back and I took the poster that came with it off my wall 
<laughs> I was like, screw this. This sucks. And Lewis to this day still – Venom still makes fun of me about it to this day because I hyped it up to be the greatest thing ever, and then it failed. I mean the game has like sleep-inducing gameplay. As a, I got that from a magazine that actually said that. I didn't make that up. The, the review said it has sleep-inducing gameplay, and it's true. The music boring. It's just you know it just makes you want to yawn as you're playing the game when there's not much going on. And I mean, it, the game just fails completely. The sh- the version for the NES is much better, and so the replay value sucks. The music sucks. Graphics for a 64 game, okay, not that bad, but uh, uh, you know the more important aspects of the game, like the gameplay, sucks. The challenge, it is a challenging game, but it, it's it's just boring. The gameplay is absolutely boring. So with that said, this game, I I got to give it. And I guess I'm going to be nice too. Probably give it maybe a 2.5 or three out of ten. The game is abysmal. To say the Slap. Least. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chun Ri, I meant we guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, after finally getting to hear and see the whole game, uh, well, hear me out. I was gonna say it's like, of course, it's not a bad game. It's just a boring game. I mean, there's a difference there. Well, probably some you know relation, but um, you know, everything about the game, except the gameplay, is like that. I mean. The graphics look, you know, pretty good for a 64 game. The music, well, of course, I heard it all. It's not the worst. It's not the boringest. It's it fits with what Shadowgate 64 is, or what you're doing in the game and all that. And uh, but like, yeah, the gameplay just looks boring, and that's what just kind of like destroys the whole thing, uh, the whole game. You know, with going through it, if there was some more action or some more excitement, the game could actually be pretty good. But it's just that one factor that the game is just so boring, gameplay, that it just ruins the whole experience. And I think, you know, that's worse than a bad game. It's a boring game. And, uh... Yeah, I've actually thought about adding two new, like, things to my Let's Discuss is, like, difficulty. Like, uh, yeah, it looked like a challenging game, but if it's challenging and boring, I think that kind of is a bad factor to go into it. And replayability, yeah. Once you play this game once, you're probably never gonna g- ever go back. Just gonna sell it or destroy it or whatever you want to do. So yeah, of course, haven't played this, so officially it's not available. But unofficially, I think I would give it um, <laughs> out of ten. <laughs> yeah, no, dang, I said Wilbur. I meant Mr. Ed. I fell, fell, Wilbur. Well, whatever. <laughs> 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 Careful. Careful. Sorry, makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> Lost for reference. But, yeah, but everything about the game is pretty good except the boring gameplay. And uh, while it will take away a big part of the score, overall, if my unofficial rating, it would probably be a. Um, still trying to. Either 5 or 5. 4 or 5 out of 10. But I think. <laughs> I th- shut it, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I'll give it a 4 out of 10, so Ronnie, I mean, Ginger gave it the higher score, so troll him. Troll, 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 troll. Troll, 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 troll. Troll, 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 And what about you, Star Soldier? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, I got to play this game the other day with Jay, and uh, yeah, I think we're Rumble and We Guy and, and Gen 2. Yeah, the game kind of sucks. I mean, <laughs> you know, it, it's boring. I mean, he don't do much. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my shirt. Check out my website. Look at my shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you say, Jay? Yeah, I kind of like the game. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Slap. Slap. <laughs> I give it a 30 of 100, Jay. Uh, Is it uh, Jay's Jay? Why are you going to say Jay? <laughs> oh, wait, no, that starts with Jay. You fail. All right, we thank say you. Jay, man. Thank we you. We say Jay, man. Um, yeah, I said up the game. Uh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna drink this with my uh, Canadian whiskey, and I'm gonna give it a hundred out of a hundred. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Back to Chin Two. <laughs> 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 All right, thanks both no, y'all, yeah. and uh, act for those of you who have survived this LP. God bless you. And Star Soldier, the real Star Soldier. Uh, Star Soldier. Yeah, the real Star Soldier. Uh, what did you say? Well, the real Star Soldier. Please stand up. Okay. Please stand up. <laughs> Okay, thank you for the 
jumps in front of the camera, moves hands. Oh yeah! Thanks for having me. This is our sorter over and out. Uh, long. Yeah, but on all serious terms, yeah. Yeah. In all yeah. seriousness, we love you. No, seriously though, they are not going to be in the Let's discuss. Yes, they are. <laughs> no, they're not. They haven't played it, and they don't want to play it. <laughs> all right, this is Durchin two signing out. See ya. Bye bye. Lost the game.